Hello everyone, this is King Forge Adventures. My name is Matt. <clears throat> what I'm doing today is I'm doing a mod review. Um, some of the mods I got kind of installed in. Um, I'm going to show you one called Alternate Start Live Another Life. I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of, uh, a, lot of a lot of people talk about it. But uh, some of the mods that I have installed in, I have uh, the Apache hair mods, including females and males. I also have brow, um, brows and beards installed. I also have uh, all the unofficial, unofficial patches installed. Uh, HTD high heels mod, uh, FNIS spells, and of course alternate life. I have more than that, but this is the ones that I'm kind of going to show you today. So basically, I'm going to be trying to pick which one to create and. More likely to be a Nord, but it'll be a female Nord. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with that. If this thing don't freeze up. All right. So now we could go with that one, and let's make her a little bit bigger. All right. So now we will get to her head. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Cut your eyes. So, the eyes I have on here is um, beautiful eyes. I believe that's what it's called. But I'm gonna do a, a mod review on it. So let's. Let's go. Okay. So the brows come in um, you can change them and they'd be more like female wise and they got a female brows and they could be more like that one best they're more lifelike they're not vanilla these are sort of high resolution type uh, I like changing her lips okay now let's do the hair now the Apache hair I have the male and the female, so let's show you that. This is the vanilla style haircuts they have through um, the vanilla game. I also have uh, a race menu where it's called disparity, which it will be able to, you'll know if it's a Nord or a High Elf or, or any other types. So it it actually makes the race stand out. And you're able to customize your own race with that. Um, here's some of the the hairstyles that it have for the females. Uh, she stopped spinning around, we could look at it, but I don't like the hairstyle. Let's uh So this alternate life, um, alternate start, live another life, gives you an option to not go through the same, same stuff that you always go through. You don't have to be caught by the, uh, the empire anymore. You can actually go and be in the empire. Let's do that. Let's change your hairstyle. Ooh, yeah, that'll work. So now, let's name her. Uh, let's name her Booty. Delicious, delicious. Now let's name her uh, Big uh, Booty. Big Booty Magoo. That's what we're going to name So, this is what you get to be in the second life. You get a second chance. So, if you notice I'm in a different room, 
I'm actually locked down in, in a cellar in an old prison. And if you approach Mara and you talk to her, you come up with these options now. And you can be arrived on a boat, board a ship. I own property in one of the holds. I am a new member of a guild. Now, when the moment when you click this, it's going to give you some more options to do that you can choose from. You can automatically join the Dark Brotherhood. You can go ahead and join Thieves Guild, um, the Companions. You can even join Lord Harkin and become a Vampire Lord right off to start with. I like doing that one. That one's pretty good. Then there's a patron in a local inn. You're just someone in a local inn. You can be a soldier in the army, which you can go ahead and join either the Empire or the Stone Cluck. It'll give you an option. And you can still do the Vanilla Star. You can still do that. Um, you can say, I want to escape this cell. Um, that just means you can escape out of there and then you'll be closer to White Run than anything. Then it says, I'm an outlaw in the wilds. I'm a vigilant of Stendar. Stendar. I am camping in the woods. And if you click camping in the woods, I've done that. Camping in the woods, you'll be close to Riverwood. Just camping out there and you'll see the dragon fly over. And you'll have an option to go to Helgen and go in there and find a body. And they all do the same thing. You got to go find this body so you can actually start Skyrim. Or you can just run around all the time and do different missions and get all the stuff that you need. Um, and it says, uh, I'm shipwrecked off the coast. And that one's pretty good. You're, you're shipwrecked and you're in water. So you got to swim and you're near, you're off the shore of Dome Star. You can go in there and start that. Um, a vampire in a secluded lair. You're right near Windham on uh, Mars Eye. Mars Eye is the name of it. Now, I've never done the Necromancer's secret location or the Warlock's Thrall. They just didn't seem like they would be good. Um, this one here says I was attacked and left for dead. Now, most of the time when you did that, when you do it, you actually go in and it ends up you're in uh, Stalsheim. You're way over there. And, and then... There is, I'm Eric the Slayer's childhood friend, which well, you've met Eric the Slayer if you played the game. His father doesn't want him to be an adventurer. This right here puts Eric the Slayer as an adventurer. And you're his best friend, your childhood friend, and y'all go off and adventuring together. And then there's Surprise Me. Surprise Me just basically throws you into one of them. Don't give you a choice. It just gives you one. So let's see, let's pick, uh, just to show you, um, hmm, let's see, um, oh, and I'm a vampire in a secluded lair, yeah, no, nothing with that is, you're, you're there with two other vampires that call you meat. Um, let's see. Let's try. If you do, uh, I own a property in one of the holds. You can choose which house you own, and you can have Pro uh, Prospire Manor, or you can have Breeze Home. You can have any type of home you want, and it'll be yours, and it'll be already yours, and you can do whatever you want. So I might let's let's do that. Which property do you own? So we can choose, we can own one in Markarth, we can own Honeyside, Breeze Home, Saul's Rest near Rorikstead, Hill John Hall, The Pale, and Lakeview Manor, Winstead Manor. Yeah, all these right here are the houses, these three right here are the houses that you can build. So, let's try something different. Let's, um... Uh, Let's try this one. So, you basically go over here to this bed. 
and you hit E. Well, you activate the bed. Um, and there you are. You're in your new home and your farm and you started another life. You can begin your new life and yes Lord, she's looking like it. Um This is your home, your house, everything in here belongs to you. Um you can go to to your chest which are empty for some reason. And you can uncommon taste. She she acts like she's a vampire, but I don't believe she is. So let's see. We're gonna go downstairs. Ah, well you're set up then. Have houses and everything is empty, and you don't have a sorty name. Well, but unless you come in. Oh. Yes. So, and this basically they give you a little bit here and there to actually get you a good start with. Um, so let's see what's going on. So, take it go. You Australia boys tunic. But anyway, basically all you do is you stop running the net and bleeding everywhere. Um, so basically all you do is you start your new life. You go to the door, you open to Skyrim. And it'll let you travel to Whiterun, Windhelm, wherever. But to end to start a new life to complete it you do have to go to Helgen and go from there well I picked a good place for her to live she's got her chickens oh is that her husband good morning We got cows and everything. Chickens. The whole nine yards. They work for me. <laughs> so, basically, and you can actually go to your map, and it'll tell you right where you're at, how close you are. I mean, we're basically right here. There's Lud's Hut, and then there's Rorkstead. So you're basically down the road from Rorkstead. And then you can go all the way to here. And yeah, I have Sophia. She's funny. And you can go from there. You can go to Riverwood. Um, that place there. And Loaded Man's Grotto. Yeah, that's where you find the that sword that's useless. I think it's useless. And you basically, there's Helgen. You make it there, you can go. And, um, Moonforge, and, you know, basically the same stuff. You just basically go in and start a new life, and you won't be the Dragonborn just yet until you actually finish it. You know, finish the new life. So, I mean, I can go running off, and, matter of fact, there is. Is that school? Or is that white run? Oh. We got some robbers. Oh, wow. still can be attacked by any bandits yeah 
let's see. Let me get this and the longbow. Coming to kill. Oh, he shot me. Oh, he shot me again. Don't have any. I'll take his dagger. Anyhow. Well, let's change up her wardrobe a little bit. She's all blooded up. Blood all over her boobs and everything. So. Yeah, that's a trap. Also, um, added a mod in about the uh, the weapons, expanding them a little bit. So let's change her outfit. Let's take her boots off. I'll leave that on. So I can take her hat off. Change that. So basically, this is basically what you do. You live another life, you start out with some, if you're a vampire, now if I'd have chose to be a vampire, then I would have uh, vampire abilities and So, and that's basically what this mod does. It changes actually everything about uh, the way you play Skyrim. It's, it won't be the same anymore. It actually um, changes it. But I mean, eventually you end up being the Dragonborn and uh, fighting all the one and fighting Harkin and dragon you know dragonborn the dlcs and stuff like that that's basically what you do now um that's pretty much you didn't that's pretty much the basic the basicness of the mod the mod itself is actually pretty fun to play. Um, me and my son like to use it quite a bit. Um, it's not it's not bad. It's, it's a really good mod. Skyrim mods have come a long way from what they used to be. I mean, uh, from what I've seen back in the day, they, they've got new innovators and new guys coming up with mods and but that's basically the gist of it is for fighting those guys huh they were crazy why can't they just go away I want the bandits of armor what's up I'm just I'm here looting yep I'm gone oh yeah Looting by Texas. But anyway, it's, that's what alternate start living another life is all about. It, the creator of this is brilliant. 
I, I guess the creator got tired of having to so let's change your outfit again to put brand armor on uh, boot Now, it's basically the mod's all about. And it gives you an opportunity to um, explore different regions of Skyrim. You're able to But anyway, that's the gist of the uh, mod, and tell me what you think of it, and you may uh, like and subscribe, please, and I would really appreciate it. If you want to see more, leave me a couple comments, and tell me what I need to improve on, if I need to improve on any. Um, I'm open to any suggestions. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.